Uh, where are we going to be playing? L.A. Noir. I've never played this game. Didn't even know it was out for PS4. I've heard of it, <clears throat> but I've never played it, so. Let's go. Oh! Okay, I see what we're doing here. Let's get a new Pretty sure this game is made by Rockstar, the same people that made DTA. Says sure it is. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city based not on the man, <clears throat> the automobile, the car. A symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. A city of opportunists. A city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. City of Pioneers. A city of dreamers. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective, an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. It is 16 William, request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Sorry, sorry, I had to plug him in my chat. Alright. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine and No sun. lights? Uh, that's weird. Alright. So, are you a cop in this game? Last thing I'd expect from Rockstar is like a game where you're a cop. Floyd Rose, homicide. <clears throat> you might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low light. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one.
Hold on a second, guys. Look at this junk. There we go. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Oh, there we go. I can. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr. Sheldon? Or Courtney Sheldon? I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, treat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again. A combination of therapy and drug treatment. Gnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, shit. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine is so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot together. Yes, Doc. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelley. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path. Doesn't look like anything. Oh, yeah, look at that. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Why is that light up there flashing? We're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Well, a drain pipe to climb on it. What? Make an object. Oh, okay. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. Oh, that's why it's uh, okay. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yep, gun right there. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith and Wesson, serial S seven one eight nine three. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy.
We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. I'm a notebook. Oh! Locations. This is cool. <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Oh, that's how you run. Okay. Where is the trigger button to run? Anyway. Okay, I don't want to wait on that any longer. Whoops. <laughs> this siren sounds weird. <laughs> also, no lights. Hey, and traffic does not care. Get. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. Mind if I take a look? You're my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Oh, I have to actually look for it? Pearl grips. Seven with pearl grips. Program. There it is. No, right there. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 
203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Oh, most of Rockstar's games, they don't actually Let's use... Let's see if he's at uh, Only the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. It usually doesn't, for like... A penny in for a pound. Based a off real locations, like GCA, for example. It's Los Santos. Clearly based off of L.A., but they didn't actually say L.A. Ooh! I hope they didn't get our number, Phelps. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? Okay, I don't know where I'm going right there. Okay, let's go. Okay. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Apparently you can't use the horn. Did you get out of Come on, what are you doing? What are you gonna do? 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 Huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Huh? Douchebag. This one probably didn't even any type of code request response. I didn't expect this game to be so old either. But honestly, you can just tell it's kind of old by the graphics. Now this right here. Gold handle doors. I want it in gold. That one's gold. Schroeder, Harbin 2. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter? He works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. And you're done for it, dude. You ready? Don't you the brawl? That was a very bad move, Schroeder. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Prancing around and hit me. <laughs> you started. I'll finish it. Oh crap. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, he ain't done. Now you gotta be done. Ralph, you are I'm fine, I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take Did cops around. not have tasers back then or something? Cause I would have gladly tased the guys. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, that's 1247. What is this, military? You dumb fucking sons of bitches! Get in this line <laughs> now before I lose my temper! Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me! Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig! Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Dick. Armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Belugaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Three. Killed three, let's go. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. I still can't believe this cop car doesn't have any lights on it. <laughs> The shoddy. Nice. <laughs> Dead. Where'd the other one at? There you are. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance to chance, copper. You coming any closer? We'll cut you in. Kill a cop. And it's the electric chair. Ow. 
I cannot hit any of my shots. Jesus. Forward. Ow. He shot me. You hit my shots, please. Oh, that's a machine gun. Juggling away. That's it. We got them all. Okay, good. I think we got them, Cole. All right, I'm gonna have Should to come over. Hang on. Hey, no, no, no! I want to put an extra bullet in this dude over Lieutenant here. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either gonna end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, good. Ralph. You did well in there. Glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. <laughs> in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bauer, stop! LAPD! What's wrong, stupid? I'm gonna shoot you. Can I please shoot him? I don't wanna do this. already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. You douchebag. Like we've got the place to ourselves. I'm messing with this dude. life for an asshole like you you can make it up to him in 10 years time watch your head this hump will be back in the iron hotel by tomorrow night nice work Cole you run track in high school part of the 
tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. <laughs> Canada Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but... Kelso, in my office, now! For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. No, really. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight, crowded street. I've seen everything. Everybody yeah, that stay is kind of a. Do our job. Oh, I can actually like. <laughs> what exactly is to? The point of doing this right here? Oh, okay. Pearl earrings. Alright. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. No, didn't want to do that. Can you do the other side of his? Okay, I guess there's not. Stop going to his head. Okay. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Excuse me, officer. I want to see. You. Ooh. There it is. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from me. When am I supposed to? I swear this Show's over. Keep hell. moving. On. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. 
Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Galleta. Okay. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Pushing triangle. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? This day. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looks very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfield's. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Switching square. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he had nice things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. You basically give me the answers right here, I think. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my, my, never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You're thinking what I'm thinking? Tate. Maintain the perimeter. Wait, no. Get in the car, stupid. Thank you.
Set his destination. Alright. There it is. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Oh. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Kalu! Get back here! I can't decide. I could shoot him? I can't put one on him from here. They did not tell me to shoot. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! No. Kalu, get back here. That cherry pie was Goddamn Harry thinks you could get a Too late, Kalu. Tackle him. Don't make it worse, Kalu. This one's lengthy, Jesus. <laughs> and he's done. Edgar Kalu. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. 
If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Cudd. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. No, that's a lie. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about hmm. baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. The line, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money. He owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. This thing. I'm done with you. Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, cold folks. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Okay. Damn. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Cullen. Oh, so you restarted. Shot okay. a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. That one's a lie. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Can't I now? We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the <sighs> gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? <laughs> You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, what's L1? Go oh, bad cop. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that <laughs> stump gauge. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir.
Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, citation, and maybe we'll get along. I'm here to learn, detective. Huh? He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that? Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. If you screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, The Phelps. sleep you didn't get last night is kicking in. I didn't sleep till, like, 5 o'clock in the morning last night, so... I'm praying that those prints come through. So oh, what was I supposed to do? I wasn't listening. What am I supposed to be doing? I wasn't listening. You through quick, didn't I? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? Oh, okay. I didn't ask for any favors. So did I go from being cop to being detective, or I'm Confucian? That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Okay, okay, he's had enough. 
Oh, this one even has a siren. <laughs> so, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Said code two over to the little out early person, I think. As a first lieutenant. With the flag with the person, I think. I was wounded, shipped back home. Did a year on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night. Draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah, now I get it. Unfit for service. Now, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. I'm to do that rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. Stupid? Unbelievable. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11 King, go ahead, okay. KGPL. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Oh, this dude's got a revolver? Oh, yep. No, I got the revolver. No, I don't. Never mind. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get you know, I could shoot him. He shot at me. Get over here. Got him. <laughs> he starts shooting at me. I'm like, fuck this. We're getting shot, boy. -o. No, I shot him in the leg. He is not dead. I'm sorry. He is not dead. I shot him twice in the leg. How does that happen? I shot him twice in the leg and he DED. Oh, wait. How do I turn off radio? Hopefully it didn't copyright. Because I cannot freaking find out how to change radio. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, off The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working student. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. So you are a detective. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's cop the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black. 
just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. How long are you gonna keep me here, work, sir? I better get back to work, sir. Doesn't appear to be connected. Okay, then put it back. Put this thing. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. Yeah, I wonder if that's what the blood is. Oh, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> Victim. Looks to have lost a lot of blood. What does that say? There we go. 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Hmm. What this? Happier times, I guess. All right, put that back. With the glasses. Wait. Denzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Okay. Ooh. Brand name might give us something to go on. No, so let's talk to this dude. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Mm. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. I don't think this guy's lying at all, to be honest. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? It's a simple question. I wouldn't know what was in that wallet. I, I never touched it. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. I don't think this guy's lying at all, When you so. saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilson. Three out of four, Contact Thank okay. you. If we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, folks. You're done here. We'll head over there now. 
We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. Ooh, I can make him drive. Can you drive to this one? All right. Where to? You're behind the wheel. Let's go. Oh, so it's like a fast travel. Okay. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at the shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Okay, I don't care about that. Maybe. No. Oh, I have to look at every one of these. Maybe this is going to help us. No. Okay. What is this thing? Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. All right. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. 
You're lying. You killed your husband, and Morgan helped you cover it up. How dare you? I love my husband. On what basis could you possibly accuse me of wanting to hurt him? It's hardly surprising the police force has such a bad reputation. People like you representing them. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there afterward. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. Yeah, I'm making him drive a lot. You know the way. You can drive. So, where do you want to go? No, you don't. <laughs> You're looking for someone. Sandwich was great. I can't decide between. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Something funny about the clam chowder. I got a Frank call Morgan? back for that Universal Who's phone asking? line. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough, Ray. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He He's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there, and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. If he was on his way to meet you when he went missing, you're gonna have to do a lot better than I don't recall. He had a couple and then left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. That's the best I can do. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? You tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's gotta go back there sometime. I thought he was running to the payphone. He sure left his drink in a hurry. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now.
Move out of the way. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. <laughs> nice. Friggin' AirPod user. I hate when I have to tell people like this in any game. Nah, I'm good. Rich boy. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. What is he doing? I hit a freaking. Let's check the place out. Come on. What am I supposed to do? Go inside? Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop clam. I don't care what you says. I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. How much apartment is he? I probably should have looked at something to see if he it says what apartment he was in. I don't care what you say, Terry. What the hell? Hold on. Where's my flashlight like I had in the very first part of the game? Is there anything that says something about it? There we go. Number two. Alright. Part number two. Yeah. Dude, the emojis look so weird when I'm looking through the PlayStation chat. Apartment number two. That is. No, that's six. That should be five. No! Why'd you go automatically up the stairs, dipshit? This one is one. This one should be two. Yep, this one's two. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Remember, the gun is the last resort. I want to shoot these guys who run so bad. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Just jump. Stop right there. It's Adrian. over, Adrian. Why did you need to get out of LA so fast, Adrian? Why the melodrama? I've met somebody in Seattle. She means everything to me. We were going to start a new life together. Looks like she'll have to wait for you. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. 
<laughs> you're going to the big house, Adrian. And when your wife finds out, you're going to lose her, too. I hope this broad was worth it. Jerk. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. <laughs> you got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You can go a long way in this department. Gary, the, they give you those. They give you all that stuff. Not school supplies, but... Cleats they don't either, but they give you everything else. Oh, you have to... Yeah, they did me last year at least. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grant. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. Can I? Black and white? No, I'm good. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An I abandoned vehicle. Right. You catch all the good ones, huh, Fox? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire. Now I got the normal cop car? Oh, no, 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 no. Funny. Come on, man. Thanks, Freddy. Let's go save the world. Where's my partner? There he is. Lemonade 25, Code 6. Hehe. I think they do at least. I know they did last year, but. You hear about Adrian? Broad in Seattle threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. You must. the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. Wait, hold on. It's behind us? Well, I'm Confucian. Hold on, I don't want... I am big Confucian. What? What? God damn maniac! Wait a second. Can I get up those? No, I cannot. Damn. Take it easy. Get him away. All right. Can I? No. Wait, Watch wait. It. Do you ever shut up? Go, oh, oh I'm stuck. <laughs> Damn. I messed up. Shut up. <laughs> I think it worked out very well. I 
Yeah, high centered. Can I restart? Nope. Wait, I'll fix. Help me! Dude, right here! Help me! Or run away. That works too. Well, I messed up, so... <laughs> I don't know what it is, so... <laughs> oh, I can see cars stuck midway upstairs. This ain't even midway upstairs. I got stuck like the very beginning. You Here. can drive. Let him drive. Oh, that works. <laughs> How'd that motherfucker get it on stuff? Phelps. <laughs> Shut up. I'm Officer Hulan. Cars down the alleyway, detective. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. <coughs> You're a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. <laughs> okay. Shut up. No license plate. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. No wheel. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. You what that? Seems irrelevant. Oh. What? What was that? Oh, that's what it was. Okay. I ran over something. Anything? No, but anything. <laughs> Shut up. Souvenir can't have any street value. No broken window. Can I not examine the broken window? Or well, maybe that's what I just did. I don't even know. It says there's something else to examine right here. Is it the trunk? No. Confusion. No. No. Yes. It's owned by the Argentinian embassy. Stupid ass car, for real. It wouldn't go upstairs. What good is it? Let me look that. Hmm. 
The brand name again? Here. Yep. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. What am I supposed to do? Call? Confusion? Game well? What the hell? What the game well? Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. It should. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Should know how. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> This dude? Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? <laughs> Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, <laughs> last night I see this brand uh, talk to you later, dude. up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans go into work. <laughs> Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, <laughs> sir? No, I do not. <laughs> this racist bitch. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Can you describe the man? Like I said, they were beaners. <laughs> Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You gonna tell me what I wanna know, or do I have to drag it out of you? You should learn to talk to older people with some manners, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Yeah, I don't really believe that one. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. That's enough for now. Remember, Jacobs, it's an offense to obstruct a criminal investigation. Let's hope you've given us everything. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Okay. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. 
Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. Uh, these these, these freaking cases are kind of long. You can drive. Or maybe it's going to make me drive. That works. Hey, look out for the pedestrians. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. <coughs> Any unit able to handle citizen reports of 211 in progress. 211, all right, let's go. That's a robbery. Responding. Okay, drop that money one more time and you're a goner. Sorry, mister. It's just my hands are shaking. Shut up! Get the money in the bag. Yes. Yes, sir. Hurry the hell up, will you? Come on. It's goddamn cops! Careful! He's got a gun! If you talk her. These people! Oh, no, 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 wasn't what I thought it was. I thought that was a little street. Nope, that's a parking lot. I didn't. I see him. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this stream right here. Peace.